Welcome to week 19 of my journey through the Milan Art Institute Mastery Program. Um, sorry about the video quality this week. I'm recording this at night and I don't have great lighting in here. Um, so um, this is, uh, this week we did mark making. So we sort of um, had a practice of sort of doing different marks, using different materials, um, talked about open materials and closed materials. So like and then how you seal, you know, if the material's open, then it gets reactivated with water um, or when you paint over it. So then you have to uh, seal it before you, you know, kind of add to the next layer. Um, she talked about what order to do things in. Uh, if you're using acrylic pens, then you don't want to use those over, over things like charcoal and loose material because without sealing it because you'll ruin your pens. Um, so these were the two pieces that we made. Uh, works on paper. I found... <laughs> That I kind of almost did the same thing on both of them. I really had I had these um, water soluble like watercolor pencils um, that I like to play around with, and I, you know, did have all these marks um, in the background. You can still kind of see it here um, and here, um, but mostly I painted over them. I think um, you know by the time you've added acrylic paints and then oil paints over the top, like it's so easy just to lose those early marks, and I think those are the, my favorite part of the process. Um, I find those marks to be really, really sketchy and free and expressive. <clears throat> so um, I have to figure out how to, you know, not overdo it. Um, and I quite enjoy this one. Um, I went with sort of a blue and an orange color scheme. So on the um, acrylic layer, her face was really quite orange. And then I toned it down with oil paints, uh, doing the blades and then sort of doing some opaques. And then this one, um, this was like a bright neon green and a really bright yellow, and I tried to tone it down in the background, um, but I haven't quite managed it. It is toned down from what it was, but it's still really colorful, and <clears throat> I like it really colorful, but I think that um, for taste purposes, it needs to have more neutrals. So, um, yeah, that's what we did this week, and we also talked about archetypes. So we took an archetypes quiz, um, and haven't really done anything with it. Like we've just identified what our archetypes are. And, you know, I guess that's sort of one facet of our sort of brand um, when we go to the branding part. So I think it's kind of like, just be aware of it for now and then we'll figure out what to do with it later. Um, so that is, I don't have that much for this week. I didn't record the process for making these two because I was working flat and then I was working vertical and then I was on the floor and I was like, I was just all over the place with these pieces. So it was just kind of a pain to like stop and set up the camera and move it and you know do all that. So I just was like, whatever. Um, you guys can see the finished results. <laughs> uh, I, I'm still not sure I love the whole oil painting over acrylics. It definitely does make the colors like richer and juicier. Um, but like I said, by, by the time you've done all those extra layers, you've really lost sort of the underpainting almost entirely. So um, anyway, that was week 19. And um, oh, that was falling. And um, if you like what you see and you want to see more, follow my journey. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow my blog. Um, all right, see you next week.